Hello, everyone. We are joined by none other than Dimitri Bivol, the WBA light heavyweight champion, the 2022 fighter of the year, the last fighter to beat Canelo Alvarez, and now getting ready to fight Lyndon Arthur, December 23 in Saudi Arabia, the day of reckoning. Dimitri, thank you for taking the time out of your busy training schedule. Uh, let's talk about this fight. You're going back to Saudi Arabia after a, a, a one-year break to fight Lyndon Arthur. How did you identify him as the next opponent? Uh, you know, uh, today he's the, one of the best opponents for me, which we had in my weight class. is uh, top 15 or top 10, I don't know. I don't remember. But uh, he's the champion, I IBO champion, and... Uh, it's good for me after pause one year uh, and he's moving good. He has good jab and he has good counter punch, right one, right with the right uh, hand. It's good. Do you, did you find it hard to get an opponent for yourself after dominating Canelo and Gilberto Zurdo Ramirez as, as well as you did? Was it hard for you to get an opponent? Uh, <clears throat> it wasn't easy, of course, because uh, most uh, because it's not only after them. It's uh, before them. I was fighting against uh, another guys uh, like uh, whom I was fighting, Joe Smith, uh, and another guys who's uh, in top uh, in our division, and. Fight by fight, I have less uh, opponents, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you looked you looked dominant last year. And obviously, everyone wanted to see you in the rematch with Canelo Alvarez or the undisputed fight against Arthur Betterbiev. Betterbiev, of course, had some injuries last year, and he's fighting January 13. But um, can you – what kind of outlook are you looking for in 2024? It, can you give the fans a guarantee that you're going to fight for undisputed in your next fight? You know, I, I can't uh, <laughs> give some warranty because I don't have warranties about uh, my fights. But when I signed the contract with with uh, Saudi to fight uh, against um, Lyndon Arthur, uh, it wasn't the main uh, thing which they want. Uh, they want to make uh, undisputed fight in light heavyweight division. And this is why I'm here. Uh, I hope next fight, I hope I will win this fight. And I hope next fight I will fight for un undisputed uh, in my weight class, not in uh, super middleweight. Because uh, the subject with the Canela now is closed. Mm -hmm. I have my own weight. We'll get to Canelo in a little bit, but let's let's talk about that better be of Callum Smith fight. You you saw a better be of up close and personal yeah. during the Tyson Fury and Ganu fight. What were those conversations like? And do you think better be of is going to beat Callum Smith? Yeah, I give him more chances uh, to win than to Callum Smith. To be honest. Mm hmm. And what, what what is that relationship like with Better Beev? I know there's some mutual respect, but you you guys want to fight each other. Yeah, uh, you know I respect I respect him as an athlete, as a boxer, uh, but uh, nothing more. Just respect, and he's my opponent, uh, future opponent. He's in my division, and he has something what I want, uh, and that's it. A lot of people think Better BF's best days are behind him. He's gotten through a lot of injuries. He's 39 years old, but he's still beating every opponent via knockout. Why do you think you can beat Arthur Better BF if you guys were to fight for Undisputed? Uh, you know, because it's boxing and because uh, I believe in myself, uh, I can't say that I will beat him every day, doesn't matter what. Of course, I need to have a uh, good training camp. And if I do everything well, uh, I will be a winner. Winner, I know. Uh, I believe in this. Not just stupid be believing. 
uh, I have to have good camp, good sparring partners. I have to be uh, fresh mind, and and I can beat him. Why not? I know you're very confident in your skills. You have that same confidence when you fought Canelo Alvarez. And I think your confidence even extended to bringing yourself back down to 168 pounds, something you hadn't done in your professional career. Well, why were you willing to do that to give perhaps Canelo a, a weight advantage to, to come down at his natural weight to fight him? And well, why do you think that fight never happened? The rematch. Uh, be, you know why? Because uh, my I'm not I'm a not big uh, light heavyweight fighter. If you see on my opponents, uh, previous opponents, I'm not bigger than them. Uh, I can make uh, one sixty eight, but only for belts, nothing for for nothing else, uh, for belts. And Canelo has uh, four belts. This is why I, I wanted to fight him. But now we have uh, our plan. We have our way, and uh, we will mm, we will follow to our plan, and then we will see. Mm -hmm. Maybe in the future, I don't know when, but uh, now I'm focused on uh, on Lyndon Arthur first, and then uh, focus on my goal to be undisputed in light heavyweight division. This is more realistic than uh, in other fights. And one more in regards to Canelo. During the Jermel Charlo fight, he said that he tried to make a rematch with you, but you made negotiations difficult. Can you set the record straight from your perspective as to your answer to that? How I could make it? How I could make it? Uh, I told like we get we we even did didn't discuss to be honest with me. Nobody was talking about. Oh, let's make this fight this date or that date or what do you want? Nothing else. Nothing. He just uh, had his fights, his dates, and he was fighting. And then I saw it saw it in the news that the problem was me. And it's funny. But uh, I'm not focused on it. I'm focused on my, uh, uh, on my way. Do you think he was serious? I beat him once and uh, I'm glad. You know what? Uh, Maybe I'm not sure. I can't say that uh, he was lying because maybe the information which he got from his team it wasn't true. I don't know. And maybe he was he wanted to close subject like this, like I didn't want very much. But uh, with me, nobody was discussing mm -hmm. uh, with my team. Do you uh, foresee yourself as a super middleweight sometime in the future? Let's say you win undisputed in light heavyweight. Do you see yourself actually coming back down to 168 for uh, the next chapter of your career? Now I, I, I see uh, I could make it. Maybe even I could make a cruiserweight. I don't know. Uh, to be honest, uh, now I'm focused more on my uh, weight class. Uh, because I see the way how I could be uh, undisputed champion. Now I see this way more clear than uh, before. Mm -hmm. Because now we have uh, uh, Saudi Arabia who wanted and who who could make uh, undisputed fight in light heavyweight division. They have uh, uh, the ability. They have ability to make it. Happen. Mm -hmm. Is that the reason why you didn't fight earlier this year? You were waiting for uh, the Saudi Arabian team to come back with the fight because you had a great momentum and you didn't fight this year. Yeah, to be to be honest, uh, I was uh, I, I was tired from uh, last year. Uh, I last year was really busy for me, and then uh, I was resting. Uh, half a year and then we we would discuss about fighting against Mungi against someone else but it wasn't it wasn't a uh, good offer for us it wasn't uh, it wasn't uh, close to make this fight happen and then I told my team I want to make uh, uh, I want to make treatment for my hand 
and then I will rest more. I will clean my mind and we will uh, get some fights. Mm -hmm. And you're still on top of the sports pound for pound list. A lot of the respected pound for pound list have you anywhere between four, five, six, somewhere, somewhere in there. Who do you think is the best pound for pound fighter in the world? Now? Yes. Who's the best? Crawford did twice, да? I said in two weeks, да? Не, Кроуфорд двух весах же, да, чемпион? You know, to be honest, uh, I like Ter Terence Кроуфорд. And he's uh, undisputed in two weight classes, yeah, now? Or yes. Not? Yeah, he's, uh, I think he's uh, the best fighter now. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's a little too much for him to go to 168 to fight Canelo? Little too, little too, too, uh, I, too much. You know, when I came to, to boxing gym, uh, the first rule was like, you should respect weight classes. <laughs> uh -huh. But I don't know what what he's gonna eat. And you know, he's he's the best fighter, uh, and everything what he is planning, it shouldn't look like it's crazy. If he's mm -hmm. thinking about it, if he's talking about it. It's uh, it means it's possible. The, 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 that's a very interesting statement you made about respecting weight classes. Do you think maybe Canelo respected 175 pounds and said, "I don't want any more of that. I'm going to go to 168 and continue my career there." Uh, I think uh, at one moment he felt that he should respect this weight class, mm -hmm. and and he's he respect. I think. Do, do what about Canelo David Benavidez? Who do you think wins that fight? <clears throat> both of the fighters uh, are are really are really good. I like uh, both of them as the boxers. It's a very interesting fight, but I can't make some statement about who's gonna win. It depends mm -hmm. how training camp will be and m many many reasons. But uh, Benavides has uh, a lot of chances to uh, to beat him, of course. Let's make a statement about your fight, Lyndon Arthur. His his best fight was perhaps against Anthony Yard. He had a split decision win, and then he ended up getting knocked out in the rematch. How do you foresee that fight for yourself with Lyndon Arthur? Do you predict the stoppage? How I see my fight against Lyndon Arthur? Mm -hmm. You know, we will see it uh, only in uh, only on December twenty third. Uh, I don't want to say anything about how I gonna fight with him. We will see it in uh, uh, on the fight night. Do you have a little bit of pressure because everyone is around you is fighting at heavyweights? We're gonna see a lot of knockouts. Do you feel like you need to raise your level up for a knockout as well? To be honest, I didn't think about it before you told me. <laughs> you know, I just know that uh, I have to be myself. Uh, I don't want to think about uh, things like this. No, I mm -hmm. have to be myself. I have to be the best version every time when I'm going in the, in the ring. Uh, and that's it. Well, maybe you could steal the show with a prolific knockout, just like you stole 2022 with all of the awards for Friday of the Year. But let's talk about, very quickly, 2024. If you had one wish for your 2024 and how that looks like, what does the perfect 2024 look like for you? Uh, fight for, for, for belts, for all belts. This fight should be there in 2024, and uh, another one, and another fight too. So I you'll fight look... minimum two. I wanna, I wanna have two fights minimum, and I wanna be undisputed. But who we will you... see how things are. Who would you like to defend the title against? Let's say you beat the winner of Better BF Smith. 
who would be that next opponent? Oh, you. To be honest, you know, I don't want to uh, look for look behind, look forward too much. Uh, it's so far. Uh, I have to think. Uh, I have to see on the short way. You know, if you see Absolutely. so far, you will not uh, reach anything.